As a nurse, you want to be familiar with different types of rhythms. And in this review, I'm going to be talking about asystole. Asystole occurs when there is no contraction in the heart. And whenever you look at the word, look at the letter A. That means without, and systole means contraction. So whenever you put that together, we have no heart contraction. Now, what are the characteristics and criteria to tell you that you're dealing with asystole? Well, this rhythm is actually one of the most easiest rhythms to identify out of all the rhythms you have to know as a nurse. And what it looks like is a flat line on the ECG and there's no ECG waveform. So you're not going to see a PQRST on there at all. And the ECG, those electrodes are not picking up any heart contraction from the atria or the ventricle. So that tells you that this heart is not pumping. Now the thing about this, whenever you see a flat line on an ECG, you want to immediately check your patient. Always check them, check their pulse, and make sure everything is plugged in and attached. Because if those telemetry wires become unplugged or an electrode isn't sticking right, or you have a bad connection, it can present as a systole and you don't truly have it. So always check your patient. Now what can cause a systole? Well, really anything that leads to death. And many times what happens is that this patient is in a lethal rhythm like VTAC or VFib and it's untreated and it progresses to a systole where this heart quits contracting. So whenever we take ACLS to help prepare us for these situations, we're taught the H's and the T's. So you want to be looking at those H's and T's as potential causes for this rhythm. And some of those include like hypothermia, hypovolemia, hypoxia, toxins, thrombosis, tension pneumothorax, and so forth. So what is the treatment for a systole? So as a nurse, whenever you find your patient in this, you want to confirm that this is a systole, check that pulse. And if you have no pulse, you want to immediately activate the emergency response system. If this is calling code blue, do that, call 911, whatever steps you need to take. Then you want to start CPR immediately. And then you want to check the rhythm per ACLS's recommendation. And a systole is not a shockable rhythm. So we cannot defibrillate this rhythm. So you want to continue doing CPR, doing rhythm checks per protocol. Then um, some things that can be given, you can administer epinephrine, you want to support that airway. And then of course, as you're continuing CPR and rhythm checks, you're going to be checking those H's and T's, thinking about what could be causing this. Okay, so that wraps up this review over a Sicily. And if you'd like to watch more ECG videos, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.